Welcome back. It is time for a set for life with Nick Sapienza. Welcome back. Thanks so much for being here. Yep. So today we are talking uh, tax cuts and jobs act. Yeah. What is this? What does this mean? So this is just what's top of mind for me in the conversations that we're having with our clients. So we do holistic financial planning. That means that we have everyone at the table, your tax person, your attorney, your financial advisor, that would be me in that case. And one of the things that we're thinking about now is planning ahead mm -hmm. for the potential for the TCJA, as we call it, to okay. sunset. So this is something that was enacted when Trump was in office, gave us a little bit of a tax break and a few other things, and that could expire on December 31st of 2025. So it's not necessarily definite, but it's likely that it would expire. And uh, there's, there's something coming up in November, there's a big election, you know, people are talking yeah. about that kind of thing, right? So that could change things. Uh, but you just want to have a plan in place. So here's what it means for people like you and me and okay. maybe other, other people in, in the area. Expect a 3% increase in taxes on average. So if you make, 3% you know, doesn't sound like a lot, but if you make $100,000, $200,000 a year, that's $3,000, $6,000, yeah. right? So it's on top of everything else that's happening right now. It's like adding salt to the wound, yeah. you know? We talked about budgeting yeah, last time. <laughs> it really impacts yeah. those budgets out there. Yeah, I mean, we've got higher costs everywhere we've got insurance skyrocketing and now on top of that maybe another three percent increase in our tax bill so be aware of that plan ahead go back to the budget right mm -hmm. talk with your advisor your cpa etc and get your ducks in a row for that and if it does in fact sunset you've got a plan in place that you're ready to execute and it's ironed out way before december 31st of 2025 hopefully okay the other thing is the elimination of the qbi this was a small business deduction which saved businesses about 20 percent okay so that's something else to plan for and then the last thing is the estate tax exemption now it used to be uh or it currently is 13.6 million per person now we might think okay that's for, that's not something that's yeah. of our concern, but there are several families, you know, in Lafayette and Acadiana that should be concerned about this, that should have a plan in place about around the estate tax exemption. So that could be reduced from 13.6 per person to seven. So if you've got an estate, if you're one of these really successful people in the area and you've got an estate that's exceeding $14 million, you want to start thinking ahead about gifting, philanthropy, mm -hmm. your estate and trust details there. So those are just some yeah. of the things to start focusing on. Think about, okay, do we have a plan in place? Are we prepared for this kind of you know, potential tax hit? Yeah, starting so those on. conversations early. Yeah, exactly uh, right. This is great advice for our yeah. friends at home. And we are out of time, but if people at home have any questions for yeah. you, how can they contact you? I would just say the easiest thing to do is to Google my name, Nick Sapienza, Ritholtz Wealth Management. You know, take a little screenshot of, of this uh, signage right here, mm -hmm. and you can find me there. And we're going to put everything, too, on our website, kdn.com. And if you want to watch more of these Set for Life segments, you can find them all at kdn.com. Let's check in with Adam Olivier.